this is D2 dynamic programming. This time I'm looking at a maximum. I'm going to use the same network as I did for the minimum here. So I've already labeled these as uh, the different uh, stages you're at. Zero at the end there, one here, the two in the middle, and three and four. Um, and I'm going to start by looking at the first stage, and we'll start by beginning at state F. Um, what do we do there? We just go straight to the end there. That is F to E, and that's eight. No choices, so that is our current maximum. The other one at that stage is D, and D goes straight D to E, and that one we can see here is seven. And so that is the best thing you can do. No choices at that place at all, so they are immediately the maximums. At stage two, we've got our first interesting point is C, and the choices are we can go from C to F, straight from C to E, or down there from C to D. Let's look at each of them in turn. Going from C to F, from there to there, is 5. Plus, the best thing from F is 8. That makes 13. Or, we could go straight across the middle there. C to E is simply 9. And finally, down the bottom here, C to D. There's a 7 there, and from D, we already know from D, there's another 7. That makes 14. This time we're going for the maximum, and so this is the highest it could be. That is the maximum value. If you were at C at any time and wanted the highest total, you'd go to D. Let's take a step back to stage 3. Stage 3, I'm now looking at place G. Two choices, G to F. G to F is 8. The best thing we can do from F is the 8. That makes 16. Or I could go G to C. G to C is 2. But the best thing to do from C is this 14 here, 16. What's the best there? Well, actually, they're both exactly the same. So we've got a, got a tie there. The other thing we've got to do at this stage is B, down the bottom here. And again, there's two things we can do. We can go B to C or B to D. If we did B to C, B to C is up here, that's 4. The best thing to do from C, we know earlier, is 14. So that would make 18. Or we could go across the bottom, that's 10. 10 plus the best thing from D. The best thing from D was that 7 just short 17 so the best thing we'd do there from b if you were at b you'd go to c there we go that's stage three finished and finally stage four if you're at a you've got these three choices you can go up the top a to g you can go across the middle a to c or down the bottom a to b if you went a to g that would be six the best thing to do from g was 16. Didn't know which one of those, but I know it's 16, so that would be 22. Or I could go straight through the middle there. That would be 10. And the best thing to do from C, the best thing to do to C was these 14 here. That makes 24. That's winning at the moment. Or you could go down here. Let's be careful here. There's 8 there. Sorry about the mistake last time. 8. 8 plus the best thing to do, the best thing to do from B is this 18. And that makes 26 that's our biggest that's our maximum our maximum is going to be 26 let's see how we get there we start at a and when we're at a the best thing to do is this one here go to b now we're at b here what's the best thing to do here is go to c now we're at c here what's the best thing to do to do c go to d now we're at d here the only thing to do is to go to E. That would be your route to get the maximum value.